Tuesday, September 11th, 2001. The worst terrorist attack in U.S. history. 19 Al-Qaeda operatives hijacked four jetliners, crashing into the Pentagon, crash landing in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and crushing two of the world's tallest buildings into 1.4 million tons of debris. Three smoking tombs for nearly 3,000 people. The South Tower stood burning for 56 minutes, the North Tower for almost exactly twice as long. Fiery facades in the New York City skyline. It only took around 10 seconds for them to fall. Countless lives were saved by the efforts of first responders that day, but heroism had a cost. 343 New York City firefighters and 60 police officers sacrificed their lives that day. 18 people were found alive in the remains of the World Trade Center. In 1970, it cost $1.1 billion to build the World Trade Center. A box cutter used to hijack the planes and bring them down goes for around $4. In fact, the entire plot cost Al-Qaeda less than half a million dollars to pull off. Americans reportedly purchased over 115,000 flags from one major retailer that day finding solace in those 13 stripes and 50 stars. The United States has launched two wars in the Middle East. The number of U.S. troops killed in battle now more than double the lives lost on 9-11. Public enemy number one, Osama bin Laden, was killed, taken out by elite Navy SEALs 3,561 days later. Today, Ground Zero, the former home of the towers, is being rebuilt with six new skyscrapers and two memorial fountains. Even with the distance of a decade, America will never forget the 102 minutes that changed our nation forever.